you send another one? Sure, hit it. I love surprises. <laughs> so does our audience. Just as well. Oh, nobody knows how to take their clothes off these days. No. This isn't bad. Who said you couldn't cook? You did. Enough of whatever you two are talking about. I've got to get dressed, and I need to make a decision, so please, would you two help me? Well, how about one potato, two potato? You mean absolutely random? That's brilliant, Stuart. Don't you think so? Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. <laughs> Five potato, six potato. Make me beautiful galore. Oh, Stuart. Look, it's perfect. Oh, I love it. How did you know that potato thing would work? Because it's your mom that makes the dress perfect, not the other way around. Uh, what are you going to wear? Oh, oh I, I don't know. Stuart, a suit, maybe. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I might help. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't be any more handsome than you already are. Oh, well, thanks. I, I, but I meant, I, I've, I have a confession to make. Well, what? I hate dinner parties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never know what to say, but I think maybe this, this one's just going to be the people that I love most. I think it may be the best dinner party of all time. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a night to remember. <laughs> I, I trust that you're right. You've got to tell Cy to fix the sound on the enchantment spot. Didn't you hear the hissing S's? He tweaked it as much as he could, Liza. He's done everything but retaped the whole thing. Well, if he can't mix it out, he has to retape it. That'll mean overtime. I don't care if he has to recast the actor, he has to fix it. Erica Kane will have our head if she hears this. I don't suppose you'd like to tell Cy about this. No, that's why I pay you the big bucks, to absorb Cy's yelling. Besides, Adam Chandler has invited his brother and my mother for dinner. And I'm not going to make her go through that alone. Nothing but nothing is going to keep me from it. Do you smell smoke? Jimmy, what's going on? Sure, do you want to spill the smoke? I think we're on fire. Oh, well, call the fire department. <laughs> You gotta get everybody out of here in an orderly fashion. Ready? Listen to me. Get everybody out of here and tell them to remain calm. Where are you going? Get to Studio One. Is everything in place? Check. No potential problems. It's taken care of. Good. When you stood next to it, it was kind of pale. All right, um, Stuart. Go ahead. Get out. You know what to do. Really? I think. So, oh, this is beautiful. Welcome, our guests of honor. Stuart, prompt as always. Oh, Adam, everything looks absolutely lovely. Look, he has some musicians. Happy to do it. Liza owes you an apology, darling. She doubted your sincerity. Oh, Liza. Uh, she called, left a message. Uh, some crisis at the station. She said to start without her. Uh, should be by later. Champagne? Well, thank you. What a shame. Yeah, I wish Liza could be here. She, she, she'd love this. It's so, it's so festive to my beautiful companion. Oh, thank you, Stuart. Your eyes are all sparkly. <laughs> what the devil are you doing here? You tell me. I get an invitation to a dinner party honoring Marion Colby? What the hell are you up to? <laughs> I love it. There must have been a mistake. That's what I thought. Let's take a look. I spelled my name right and everything. I was going to RSVP, but I just found it. Well, my secretary must have uh, assumed that since Liza was coming, you would, as an escort... No, it doesn't make any sense at all. Excuse me for a moment. Dad! 
Hi. Hi, Stuart. Yeah, welcome. You certainly look ravishing tonight, doesn't she? Oh, thank you, Tad. You look pretty good yourself. Yeah. What are you doing here, by the way? Well, evidently, I'm accidentally crashing a very private party. Oh. His name was on the list, and he never got back to me. So I never explained to him about tonight. Get Th back to work. Would you like to dance? I'd love to dance. Excuse us. Excuse us, Dad. I was right. Incompetent secretary. Sorry to have wasted your time. Well, apparently I didn't. Your brother and Marion just invited me to stick around. Don't worry, I won't eat too much. I'm not worried about anything, Ted. Oh, by all means, stay if you like. Well, will wonders never cease? I just can't believe you extended yourself like this from Marion. Marion and Stuart. Right. Curiouser and curiouser. You danced divinely, Mr. Full of Surprises. Uh, just trying not to step on your feet. <laughs> but you, you really dance beautifully. Man. Well, I have learned a couple of things in my life. <laughs> For instance, um, those are gladiolas, uh, that's a lily, and those are mums. I thought you didn't know about flowers. I have been studying up on pistols and stamens. <laughs> you know what we ought to do? What? We ought to go to the bot botanical gardens next week. All the flowers are being bloomed now. Oh, I'd love it. Of course, the flowers may all wilt when you come by. Not a jealousy. You know, like my mural. Everything looks dull as mud next to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Stuart. Hey, Marion. Would you uh, like a canapé? No, thank you, Carl. You sure? I mean, you always were a fanatic for caviar. Oh, well, I, I, I don't like it anymore. It's, it's too fishy. Thank you, anyway. Who is that? Oh, him. Him? He just, well, somebody that I knew. Oh. Once. Okay. A smoke bomb. I mean, when I get my hands on the practical joker. Liza, please, no one on the staff would pull something like this. With all the sensitive camera equipment around, especially with you owning and managing this station. I know, they'd have to have a death wish. You know what? Get the visitor's lift from security. Could have been a messenger or a delivery boy. Or... Nah, you don't really have any um, items around that could be easily stolen. Are you talking about that this could have been an attempted burglary? Yeah, well, two guys at a savings bank last month, they set off a smoke bomb to create a diversion, and then they got the jump on the security guard. A diversion? Damn you, Adam Chandler. Oh, you're really a wonderful dancer, Marion. What? Oh, oh yes, Stuart, thank you, so are you. Having fun? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know dinner parties could be fun. <laughs> and you, Marion? Um, uh, Tad, would you please dance with me? I haven't finished my drink. Oh, well. Mm. Now it's all gone. Come on. You don't mind if we dance to you, Stuart. No, no, go ahead. Marion loves to dance. She'll be doing a lot of that before the evening's out. You know what else she likes? Not in my wildest imaginings. Botany. I, I taught her about some flowers and things, and tonight she knew the name of every flower in there. She likes my painting, too. That well, must be a pretty smart lady, right? <laughs> it's important you and Marion get to know oh, each other yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Well, we already have a lot in common. Excuse me, I have to check on the kitchen. Oh, yeah, 
Hey, 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 who's leading who here? Tad, don't look now, but those men who just came in. Don't look, please. Oh, dear God in heaven. Maybe we should just sit this one out. Please, I need your help, Tad. Those men who just came in, the two waiters, the musician behind me. What the hell are you talking about? Listen, I know them, Tad. I mean, I knew them in my colorful past, okay? I knew them. Knew? You mean as in... Chandler strikes again. I mean, could this be possible? I mean, could all these men? Oh, my God. Adam has set me up, and I am drowning here in a sea of ex-lovers. Um, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, this is a private party. Oh, I know. It said so on the invitation. Are you uh, Adam Chandler? No, I'm Stuart. Stuart, Stuart, it's nice to know you. Listen, you and I have something in common. What, what, you, you, are you an artist? Oh, too? no, heck no. No, I'm talking about our friend Marion Colby. You're a friend of Marion's? Mm -hmm. How do you know her? Well, oh, excuse what? me. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, darling, uh, uh, it's it's one of your old friends. Look, I, I didn't get your your name. <laughs> uh, introduce us. Uh, hi, how are you? Um, uh, Fred, Fred Farley. She always used to call me Tiger. <laughs> oh yes, Tiger. <laughs> it's really nice to How'd you meet you? Tiger? Oh, oh, it was at the real estate convention. Remember? Boy, was that wild. <laughs> we moved a lot more than property. <laughs> uh, well, it was really nice seeing you again, Tiger. Bye bye. Uh, uh, Stuart, darling, listen. I really think uh, I need to get some air right now. I mean, I mean, why don't we go to the botanical gardens right now? Right now, we haven't had dinner yet. Oh, but it's so zany, you know, so Scott and, and then Zelda. And then we all know how she ended up, don't we? Well, uh, I think Adam might get upset if we leave now. He, he's even invited some of your old friends. Marion, you mustn't plot your own getaway. The evening's still young. The fun's just beginning. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Guess who came to dinner? You've really done yourself proud, haven't you, Adam? Well, I thought it'd be a good idea for Stuart to meet some of your old friends. Isn't there a saying that says, you can judge a person by the company she keeps? Uh, picture time. Picture time. You, you, you stand over there next to Adam. And uh, I, want, I, want to, I want to remember everything about this evening. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. okay. That's it, gentlemen, that's good. And in the back there, right, girl. Marion, smile. <laughs> Even the guys in the band. Oh, kill him. Liza, I'm glad you're here. Of all the hateful, underhanded things that you could ever do, this is the worst. Liza. I, Shut I, up. I know all about that little stunt you pulled at my studio. I have half a mind to report you to the fire warden. I have no I, idea what I, you're really, talking about. You are despicable, beyond contemptible. I just arranged for Stuart to get to know Marion. Oh, I'm taking my mother home. Don't touch me. Fine. How about another drink? No, no, no. Fine. Just for the record, your mother set herself up. All I did was say, you don't have to go to the botanical gardens. Your mother has lived her life as a tramp. Look around you. She's not good enough for Stuart, and it's time they both realized it. Hey, how's my favorite real estate agent, huh? This little lady and I spent many hours exploring exotic locales. <laughs> I bet she's good at what she does. Oh, is she ever? I, I never bought a house from her, but we had a lot of fun uh, trying out those empty rooms, eh? <laughs> Stuart, I, I really think I'm going to be ill. Through making Brooke jealous. No, not yet. <sighs> I'm tired. I want to go home. We'll go home. I just need to fire a parting shot. I'll plug my ears. Ladies and gentlemen, now up for bids. Catalog item number 231. I want to bid on that one. 
Bidding will begin at one thousand dollars. Two thousand. I have a bid of two thousand dollars. Three thousand. Five thousand. I have a bid of five thousand dollars. Do I hear six? Going once. Going twice. I bid six thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Eleven thousand. Fifteen thousand. What, what are you doing? Are you sure? I know what I'm doing. Sixteen thousand. Twenty thousand. We have a standing bid of twenty thousand dollars. Going once. The hospital gets its money. Going twice. Sold to Mr. Adam Chandler for twenty thousand dollars. And Adam gets his heart treasure. You know, I never knew my uh, my uncle was into postmodern sculpture. Oh, he's not, but he knows I am. So any moment now, in a spirit of selfless generosity, he'll probably come over here and present it as a gift to me. Um, I don't know. Great art is like a great woman. They both inspire imitators, but the true originals rise head and shoulders above the common crowd. To a great woman. No. Oh, oh well. <laughs> this is too much for you to have. Um. So, uh, how about a burger at McKay's? Uh. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll we'll head out. Are you gonna stay? Uh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stick around. <clears throat> if they auction off a white elephant, I would love to see how Adam gets it into the trunk of his car. <laughs> okay. Listen. Don't be too late. Okay. Mwah. Oh, if you're done with this part, can I go home now? No, there's one more act to follow. Oh, I think I'm up for this. Fake it. You know, my closet is just crying out for some ulterior desperation. <laughs> you're not taking that home. <laughs> oh, Adam, consider it my early Christmas bonus. Prorated over the next 20 years. Well, we can put it at WRCW, which is probably where I'm headed right now. I'm your boss. Your first loyalty is to me. You know... I think we need to change the rules of this game. I scored a big fat zilch with the absentee tad. Mm. If I'm gonna continue to play the charade, I want you to sweeten the pot. I wine and dine you, isn't that enough? No, think blue chip stocks, darling. <laughs> we can discuss it later. Meanwhile, savor your victory and color me gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you need us, we'll be at the station. So, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye.